Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Bibbidi Bobbidi Books. My name is Ellie and today I'm really really excited to be showing you my spooky October TBR. So I'm really really excited to show you these books. Autumn and Halloween is literally my favourite time of the year. I love it. I love anything spooky as long as it's not too too scary and I'm just so excited to jump into some of these spooky creepy reads and I'm excited to share them with you. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. I've got quite a mix of books here. I've got quite a few middle grades. I've also got a couple of adult books and also a classic as well. So yeah, I'm excited to show you and hopefully this will be a nice mix. So I'm going to jump straight in with my middle grade books. So the first one that I'm excited to pick up is this one. So this is The Haunting of Avalyn Jones by Phil Hicks. And firstly, I just have to show you the cover because this is absolutely autumn summed up on a book cover. I mean, we've literally got like a scarecrow, we've got the autumn leaves, we've got the girl with the torch there. It just looks incredible. And this book also has art throughout as well. It's got stunning artwork in here. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. And this one follows our main character, Avalyn. And I believe she goes to her aunt's house for half term. And she finds this book, this spooky old book that's filled with ghost stories that used to belong to this girl called Primrose who went missing. So Avalyn decides to investigate Primrose's disappearance and the story kind of goes from there. So I think it's got a kind of mystery vibe in here. It's not too long so I think it's going to be the perfect book to kind of pick up and just read in an evening and just give you all of those autumn spooky feels and I'm incredibly excited about it. So that is the first book. The next middle grade book that I have to show to you is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. So I know this is a very popular middle grade book. I think it's the first in a series and I'm very excited to get stuck into this one. I do like Victoria Schwab's adult and YA books so I'm interested to try her middle grade books. But in this story we follow the main character Cassidy Blake, I think her name is, and she is a girl who can see ghosts. She has this near-death experience, I believe, towards the beginning of the book, and she's saved by a ghost who becomes her best friend, which is just the cutest thing. And I think her parents are paranormal investigators, and they get called up to do this TV show investigating all of these haunted places around the world. And they all head off to Edinburgh, and the story kind of goes from there. And I think Cassidy Blake basically is finding out a little bit more about her powers, she's finding a little bit more about herself and it says the city of ghosts is more dangerous than she ever imagined so yeah I think this sounds really really fun, I know a lot of people really like this book. That is also another lovely middle grade that I'm excited to read this season. The next middle grade that I have to show to you is a book that was actually recommended to me by Jem from the channel Bookish Gem. So I'll link her channel down below. You should go and check her out because she's amazing. Um, but it is Potkin and Stubbs, which is a middle grade written by Sophie Green. I don't know a huge amount about this one because I picked it up largely on Jem's recommendation, but I was definitely very drawn in by this cover because I think it looks amazing. I love the green and purple color scheme and it's got little bits of gold foiling one. it's not really picking up on the camera but it looks very very cool but yeah I don't know a huge amount about this one I think it's a bit of a detective murder mystery type story but I'll give you a little read of the back so it says on here Lil Potkin wannabe reporter doesn't scare easily she spends her time stalking the streets looking for a story sticking her nose in where it doesn't belong desperate for a news scoop as Lil is about to discover, a scoop can be found anywhere at all, even sitting opposite her in the all-night bus station. Okay, so we're following this wannabe reporter who's trying to get a scoop. I think it's a bit of a noir type feel, this story, um, and I think it is quite spooky, and I think it's set in like an urban setting, and I'm just really intrigued and really excited to get to this one. Okay, so the next book that I'm hoping to pick up this spooky season is actually a YA graphic novel. So this is Fangs, written by Sarah Anderson. And firstly, just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous cover. It is beautiful. It's kind of like a, a fabric texture on the front there. It's got black sprayed edges. It's got um, really cute kind of comic book style artwork in here 
and yeah I'm really excited about this one. So this is basically a romance between a werewolf and a vampire. I think it's supposed to be quite humorous, I think it's supposed to be really cute and fun and again I just thought this would be a really lovely book to just kind of pick up in an evening and have a flick through and especially if I'm wanting something that's got kind of like spooky vibes because we're talking about like vampires and werewolves but something that isn't too scary if I want a bit of a break from that and if I want something a bit more light hearted and a bit more fun so yes I'm very excited about this one and I've heard a lot of really positive reviews about this as well so I've got very high hopes and then we are on to my sort of adult books that I'm hoping to pick up. So I'm going to start off with a book that I have actually started reading. So it's a little bit of a um, cheat, but I feel like the spooky season has already started. Um, so this is Mexican Gothic written by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is a adult Gothic horror novel set in the 1950s Mexico. And we follow our main character, Noemi, who is a social light and basically she receives this letter from her cousin. Noemi hasn't actually heard from her cousin since she moved in with her new husband until she gets this letter and this letter contains some pretty weird stuff in there. There's some accusations in this letter and basically Noemi decides to go and visit her cousin to make sure that she's okay and to make sure that she's being looked after properly. So the majority of this book is set in this really creepy old house and this has creepy haunted mansion feel down to a T in this book. It is really really scary and I don't want to say too much about this book because I don't want to give anything away but it gets pretty wild. Um, it is a fun time, it's a page turner, it's really gripping. The intensity that's built through this book is brilliant and I have been having an absolute blast. I'm quite near the end now so I'm very excited to see how it wraps up but I, what I will say is I think this book is probably going to be one that you either love or hate depending on whether you like the direction that it goes but that's all I'm going to say. I think you need to jump into this one and just see what you think for yourselves but the writing in here is beautiful the atmosphere is spot on and it's set in 1950s Mexico which is a really cool era as well so you do have those kind of historical fiction elements in here as well so yes I have been having a really fun time reading this book now the next adult book that I want to talk to you about is actually a little bit different so it's not so much scary it's actually a romance but the reason that it's on here is because it contains witches so this is called Black Witch Magic and it's written by Mila Nix. So this is a fun romance novel and it's between a witch and a guy who is apparently quite prickly, he's quite sarcastic and I think the love interest is the skeptic on a paranormal investigators program. So he doesn't actually believe in anything supernatural and I just think that sounds like such a fun dynamic to read about, kind of a romance between these two, you know, a literal witch and someone who's a skeptic and I hear that it's really funny so if you're in the market for something that's gonna give you that kind of Halloweeny sort of autumny vibes but you're not really into super scary stuff this one could be a really good one to pick up especially if you're a romance fan and you're looking for something that's gonna give you those kind of romance tropes that's full of sarcastic humor and things I think this is gonna be really really good so I'm really excited to try this one so the next book that I have to show you guys is actually a classic Classic. So I have decided to pick up this book. So this is The Day of the Triffids written by John Wyndham. And firstly, I just want to talk about this beautiful cover and artwork on here. Again, I think this is so autumny with the oranges and the creepy vines and everything. I think it looks beautiful. But yes, this is a book that was published in 1951. It's a classic post-apocalyptic novel. And I've actually been really interested in reading some more classics. And I think this is gonna be perfect for this spooky season. And I absolutely love the premise of this one. I think it sounds so fun. So I believe this is set in a world where pretty much everybody in the world, except for our main character, has gone blind following this meteor shower. And I think this freak kind of cosmic event also brings with it these aggressive plants that start killing people. 
<laughs> it sounds wild but I'm here for it I'm really excited to give it a go and I feel like it's one of the most famous kind of catastrophe novels of the 20th century so I'm really excited to pick it up and give it a go for myself and the whole idea of waking up in a world where everybody has gone blind sounds like a really interesting premise and I'm intrigued to see how that plays out it's not too long either which um, seems a little bit less intimidating to me because I feel like a lot of classic books are quite chunky and yes I think this is going to be a really really fun one and I'm excited to give it a try and then finally the last book that I'm hoping to get to this spooky season is a big one it's actually one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I can't even tell you how excited I am to pick it up but the book that I am talking about is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff this is an absolute beast but it's got a beautiful beautiful cover and I am so excited for this one. This is supposed to be the vampire book that we've all been waiting for. It's supposed to be really gritty, really dark, really violent and bloody. It's supposed to be quite sexy, definitely not for children. And I can't even tell you how excited I am for this one. It's massive, it's gonna be epic. And I believe we're following the main character who is imprisoned and I think he's being forced to tell his story. That that's kind of all I know really other than the fact that this is set in a world where I think the sun doesn't rise or something which means that vampires can walk the earth during the day and so there's this ongoing war between the vampires and humanity which sounds like a really cool premise it's going to be dark it's going to be intense and I cannot cannot wait for this one this one actually also has beautiful illustrations in it as well which I think is quite unique in adult fantasy I feel like you don't often get artwork in adult books but it honestly is just so beautiful the artwork in here and I feel like it's just going to add to the experience of reading this book um, so even though it looks really massive I think a lot of it is actually pages of artwork and I think it's only over 700 pages 718 pages so it looks scarier than it is <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself anyway but yeah this is going to be my main focus I think for October this is the one that I'm really really keen to get through and this is kind of why I've included quite a lot of sort of shorter books as well and quite a lot of like graphic novels and quite a lot of middle grade as well because I just think these are going to be perfect to kind of break up the intensity of this big chunky adult dark fantasy book so yeah this is my stack I can't wait to get to these ones I'd love to know if you've read any of these or if you're interested in reading any of these books and I'd love to know what you're picking up this spooky season because I am always always on the hunt for spooky book recommendations but yes I think that's it from me I hope that you've enjoyed this and I guess I will see you next time with another video bye